Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. First one, evaluate the following. 16 divided by 1 half. Imagine, when we divide fractions, what do we do? Keep the first fraction, change the sign, flip the second fraction. 32 over 1, a.k.a. 32. Thumbs up, you got 32 for number 1. Number 2, a rectangle has a length that measures 20. So it's 20. It's reduced by a scale factor of 1 4. Claire, if it is reduced, does that mean our final answer is going to be more or less than 20? Less. It's reduced, right? It's going to get smaller. And it's getting smaller by 1 4. So it starts at 20. It's getting reduced by a scale factor of 1 4. 20 over 4. Thumbs up. You got 5 for number 2. And it makes sense, right? 20. 1 4 of 20 is 5. If I cut 20 into 4 even pieces, each piece would be 5. Number 3, a bag of marbles contains 4 red, 3 black, 12 green, and 1 orange. What is the probability the student reaches in and pulls out a black marble? Carmen, how many total marbles are there in the bag? Um, um, 20. There are 20 total marbles. Tierra, what color are we trying to pull out of the bag? And how many black marbles are they, Tierra? Three. Three out of 20. Thumbs up if you got B for that one. There we go. The last one. John earns a total of 49.50 after working for six hours. Money. Hours. What we know, 49.50 for six hours. We want to know how much per hour. Per hour is one hour. If you weren't sure how much, we don't know. Yes, ma'am. Talk, say what you want to say. I just did uh, eight, I mean, I did eight times six, and then that was the eight, and so I did C times six. Good. So you know that six times some number is going to go in here evenly. When you think about this mathematically, this is about $11. 11 times six is 66, way too big. This is about 12 or $13. dollars 12 times 6 is 72, way too big. So if you're not good at division, you could have done 6 times answer choice A and 6 times answer choice C. Or you can just do long division. 6 can go into 48, 8 times, that's 48. Bring the 5 down. 6 can go into 15 twice, there you are. Thumbs up if you got C for number 4. Pause it. All right, so this was the exit ticket yesterday. The boys did. I don't know if you guys did one or not. This is from 702 yesterday. From the boys' box. This was our exit ticket. It says Alicia ran four fifths of a mile in, a thir in one fourth of an hour. At this rate, how far could Alicia run in one hour? This is one of their work, letter for letter, word for word. This is their answer. They're wrong. It's 702. What do you expect? You have two jobs. Answer this question correctly, and then find the mistake. Go. What can you Pause do? Alicia ran four-fifths of a mile, one-fourth of an hour. What did they not do, raise your hand, that they should have started this problem out doing? What should they have done? They should have made a ticket. They should have made a ticket. So miles and hours. So let's look at how they started. So they put four-fifths in miles and one-fourth in hours. Is that part right? Yes. Yeah, that part's good. Carmen, what did they make their mistake in the second part of their ratio? Yeah, so they did it like this, right? And we're talking about one hour. So where should the one go? On the bottom. With the hours, right? And the unknown should go up here. And technically, when you think about it, they did all their math right. They just set it up the wrong way. So when you cross multiply, you get one-fourth x equals four-fifths. We divide each side by one-fourth. We divide each side by one-fourth. We cancel out. And this is the most important part here. Some of the girls on the last block that were struggling did not write the problem off to the side. So the problem is 4 fifths divided by 1 fourth. Keep the first fraction, change the sign, flip the second fraction. The correct answer, thumbs up if you got 16 over 5. 16 over 5, or 3 and 1 fifth. Choose 1 and do it. Go. Pause it. Hey, stop. Did you start yet? Action. Okay, so first, I'm going to call you. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, Miss Colorado. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to do this problem. We're going to do the butterfly method. So, first we're going to do two thirds, which is going to equal x. And then you're going to divide that by two thirds. And then you're going to equal that to three fourths. Because three fourths times point is three fourths. Then you divide that by two thirds. Then you do three fourths. Last one, you got two minutes, go.